All right, Coach Moore, OAC uh, Junior High Championships. Yeah. Uh, since f first time here? First time here, yeah. I don't, I don't know why I haven't been here before, but uh, seems great so far. So, so what do you think is important uh, to get out of wrestling at the junior high level? The junior high level? Uh, I mean, I'll say this. My son's been wrestling for a couple years in the youth level, and you know, I like the way his coaches go about things and they, they make sure the kids are having fun. Obviously the fundamentals of wrestling are important. The basic takedowns, defense, turns on top, all that stuff is very, very important. I think at the junior high level, kids start to learn uh, their strengths as wrestlers. They start maybe uh, developing a little more than the basics. And you know, I think it's cool to see these guys and some of the best kids in the country are here today wrestling here so it's, it's yeah. gonna be exciting to watch when you look at so I don't know what what you do in terms of looking at junior high kids yeah. but they're used does the typical wrestler is it important that they are successful at this level you know what for what when they I think everybody's or, different you know yeah. I think uh, some kids at this level have been wrestling five six seven years so f for them I think it's important uh, to be successful in their minds, but other kids, maybe they've just started a few years and this is, they're still trying to figure it all out. So I, everybody's at a different level in junior high, I believe. And, um, you know, some kids are, are here to, to learn and get the experience and other kids are here to win, get the title. So yeah. it's, everybody's different. So talk about uh, Cleveland State EWL experience. Yeah, my first year as a head coach, uh, redshirt a few good guys. You know, I, I think we had an okay year. We had eight new guys in the lineup this year, which was, which was a little challenging. And uh, they, they started trying to, you know, start to figure it out a little bit at the end. But came up a little short at EWLs. Um, you know, I think we wrestled okay, but we had to wrestle great. And we just didn't get it done. But looking forward to next year, having two or three guys come off redshirt. We have a great recruiting class coming in with the state champ. Uh, Logan Heil, Gus Sutton, who will be the nationally ranked kid at the state tournament. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll pick up a few transfers here, which we can't talk about now. But yeah. we'll, uh, we're going to have a much more competitive team next year as we move into the MAC conference. How do you grow as a coach after a, a year like this one? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just uh, putting more time into our guys, working with them more on the mat. And this year was my first year. I wanted to make sure we marketed our team a little better, try to hype our home matches up. You know, the fundraising aspect, just I think I just ran uh, a little crazy trying to do everything else, but I want to spend more time on developing our guys and getting in the room more and getting on the mat a little bit more with them. Is that hard as a college head, head coach? I mean, so many hats. Right. Um, how important is like the fundraising versus the time with the guys on the mat? But then, how do you find that? Yeah, time? I think I think that's the biggest thing. My biggest challenge was just finding the time, uh, finding where my time could be used the best, and uh, you know, finding a staff that will support me and support the guys. Their team is huge, and I think having again all new staff this year with Riley Shaw, our GA, our Boomer Fetchko, and then our volunteer coach, and just trying to figure out what, how they can help know the program best yeah. to put them in those roles moving forward. You know, if you go back to, you know, looking, okay, my first year as head coach is coming up, yeah. what was something that, like, kind of met expectation, and then what was something that, like, caught, maybe caught you off guard? Uh, I mean, I guess I've been coaching a while, so I kind of understood, you know, what being a head coach would mean. Um, I mean, something that caught me off guard, I guess, just all the all the time needed away from the wrestling room, you know, just, just with fundraising, meeting with people, different meetings with the athletic department people, and just, it, it uses up a lot of your time, which, you know, you, you can't really get back. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the guys responded responded well. They, you know, we have a mutual respect for each other. I think that was good. I knew, I recruited a lot of the guys on the team. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was already there. I didn't have to kind of build the trust and respect that some coaches to new programs do. So I think that was huge. All right, cool. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a fun year. Yeah, it was a fun year, and I think that was important. We had a good year. The guys bonded together. Uh, I think they, you know, understand what's expected of them now, and mm -hmm. we'll know a lot more moving forward next year. Awesome, great catching right. up with you. All right, you got you. anything else to share? No, that's it.